Hey guys, it is me, Luong Bro, John Madden, whatever you want to call me, from csgoforum.com, and in this quick tutorial in Hammer Editor, I'm going to show you guys how to do a buy zone, make a buy zone, so when you spawn, you can buy weapons and stuff, because it doesn't happen by default. Uh, now, if some of this doesn't make sense, like, oh, well, how do I get the player entities down, um... I'm going to have to go through and just make literally tutorials on everything for beginners and everything in between. But uh, let's show how to make a buy zone. So let's assume right behind these boxes is where we want a buy zone. So what you want to do is first open the texture tool and you're going to browse for this texture called trigger. So you can type in trigger and filter and you'll see it right here at the top. Select that and then close this. And go ahead and get the block tool and we're going to draw just a little block here in the corner where you would want the buy zone to be. You have to kind of be careful to not have it up against the wall or in the ground. or you, It might just not compile, might not work, you might have leaks. It's just kind of best common practices to um, not have things like this triggers functions touching walls and inside them. So hit enter right there and you'll see this orange transparent looking box. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring it up a little like that. And I'm going to place a character entity right there just for scale purposes. Now, technically, inside here, or anywhere touching this, you'll be able to buy something. I know a lot of people have it so it's like all the way down here because I don't think it needs to be all the way up. But I just like it having, having it there. I don't know why. It just makes me feel better. So we have this invisible trigger texture box here. And what we have to do is right now it doesn't do anything. With this texture, the trigger, we can apply triggers to it, apply functions to it. So what you want to do is with it selected, press Control T, and it's going to pop up the object properties. Now these are a bunch of classes essentially, a bunch of functions pre-made that you select and just enter in your own values as arguments. This is very close to programming but on a GUI interface. So what you want to type in in the class is function by zone, and this is a pre-made function, and hit enter pre-made function that lets your characters buy stuff. Now you only need to give it one value to make it really work. Uh, first for name, I like to give my things names just so you know it's not all jumbled up later. Uh, I'm gonna call it CT underscore spawn. Or not spawn, what am I doing? CT underscore buy zone. You can call that whatever. I'm just gonna make it for CTs. Makes it easier. And then you're gonna look at team number here. It's gonna be an integer. You have terrorist or counter terrorist. We want CT which is two. But it will relay that in game and then that's all you need and you hit apply and now you have your buy zone here and when you spawn in game you'll only be allowed to buy CT weapons from here so of course we would need to change this guy to counter terrorist and you know you just put your models inside there and ta-da now you can buy shit really awesome I'll have some other tutorials out there uh, Pretty soon, guys. I'm going to try to crank them out. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go check out CSGOforum.com, the best community ever. Bye.